has the engagement been with uh, member countries, commercial banks operating in these member countries to develop the financing mechanism for small and medium scale enterprises? Because the fundamental concern that they raise is about not having access to cheaper credit. So an MSME or micro, small and medium scale enterprise in Ghana is borrowing at 24% average. And you're going to have to compete with another MSME operating in another country on the continent that is borrowing at say 11% or 12% and you are all going to have to compete in the same market. I mean, this was concerns that the likes of Nigeria had previously, reason why they were putting in these protectionism policies to protect their micro, small and medium sale enterprises. But has there been any understanding that these commercial banks have committed to developing financing mechanisms to support micro, small and medium scale enterprises expand, scale up and be able to compete equally? The cost of uh, borrowing um, is of course is, is high and commercial banks they set it at whatever rate they set it at. Um, I had a conversation with the CEO of one of the major commercial banks in Africa who has uh, 25, 26 branches across the African continent, 26 countries rather. He said to me that they, this particular bank, they have a very, very, uh, they have a thriving uh, trade finance portfolio. 100% repayment, uh, no bad loans, and specifically for SMEs uh, that are run by women. Very impressive. Um, the, the big challenge is how do you have a cross jurisdiction trade finance facility um, across 39 countries who have set, uh, ratified the AFCFTA if you don't have sovereign guarantees. And that's what we're trying to work at at the moment is the risk mitigation factor. All of them want to contribute to an AFCFTA uh, SME uh, facility, but there's a, a major issue of risk mitigation that has to be solved. Um, the, the, it will take us three, four, five years to negotiate sovereign guarantees, sovereign guarantees by, by governments, those who are willing to do it anyway. And so I think that um, the, my sense in the conversations, my sense is that the issue is not lack of availability of funds. The issue is risk mitigation and who is going to bear the cost of the risk. Um, if we were to have an AFCFTA um, SME fund. So we are getting, we are close uh, in, in uh, resolving that issue. I'm hoping that next year we will be able to make an announcement to Africans that we actually, we have now uh, been able, uh, able to mobilize